This is my fixer house here in El Valle. But before I show you all the pictures, come along with me and see all the paperwork process I went through. Here it is, early for me. The rest of the world gets up, but I'm never out the door at this early. It's like 7.15. I am going to the city. This is a first time that I've gotten this close in real estate. I'm actually putting, oh, actually, no, I did put a deposit down before. <laughs> I'm putting another deposit on uh, a, a property, the one in El Valle. I'm excited. I got good sleep last night, but I woke up just feeling really excited. And I told Feather I was buying her a house and, you know, I'd keep her in the lifestyle that she's become accustomed to. And uh, I just keep having all these visions of what the place is going to look like when it all comes together. So I just have to be patient and let that all unfold as time budget and circumstances allow. First stop was Panama City attorney's office bringing a check and signing a promise note or promise agreement. I just picked up my bank check, big bank check, cashier's check for the house. Next week I go into the city to sign the deed and to give the money. Um, there are protests all over the country that are blocking the roads and so my thought is if I get, if I leave El Valle at four in the morning I might bypass some of the areas where they're um, protesting. Uh, they're protesting all sorts of things. Cost of living, cost of gas, uh, decrease in, or not a decrease, but like not getting paid. Um, as a foreign resident, I cannot attend any protests. I can't really talk about them, you know, give an opinion, and I'm, I'm not really informed enough to do that anyway. And I wouldn't do that because I'm not allowed to do that. Anyway, the protest might hinder my ability to get into the city, so I'm gonna leave really early. It's quarter to four in the morning, and usually this might be the time that I was getting home from some night out. I'm actually up, and uh, I've got my two cups of tea in the car, and I'm heading into Panama City. The reason I'm leaving so early is that there have been um, a lot of roadblocks because of protests, and uh, some of them have been, some roads in Cherokee province have been closed for five and six days at a time. Um, but in the last week, there have been times where they just shut it for maybe three hours. So I'm hoping that I'm leaving early enough to miss any of the roadblocks. And if not, I have a roll of toilet paper, I have a cooler with some sparkly water and some almonds, so hopefully I'll be fine. I found a hotel that was serving breakfast, so I had something to eat and then I went to Super Kosher for the first time and found some products that I can't get in Coronado. They had some of my favorite olives, so that was a treat. And then it was off to sign some papers. This is my fixer house here in El Valle. So work has already gotten started very fast, um, but I want to show you the view of the mountains, which I love. So that's the view of the mountains. My lot is pretty bare, so that just leaves me the opportunity to create whatever I want. 
plant whatever I want. The ground is pretty oversaturated, so the, uh, the guys are working on drainage and reconfiguring some trenches, cleaning out some trenches on the side of the property. Um, and then here in the background you can see, so you can see that bottom roof line that goes over the patio, and then that top roof line, that is what's actually going to be extended up because right now, you know, it's pitched down and uh, I want it to be pitched up so that you can see the sky and the mountains and the stars. I was here last night because um, I have some friends coming over today to see the house. So I came here last night and it was just amazing to have everything be just dark um, and to see the, the sky, the stars in the sky. I absolutely love my house. I would get rid of the things that are hanging and really cut back all this bamboo to let some more light in. Bamboo grows pretty quickly anyway. Um, but this is just the property boundary. And I think back here would be a good place to store uh, water, a water tank, water tank storage. Um, Probably looks like the property drainage could be improved a little bit. At least it's flowing out to the street, but I think that's something that always has to get maintained. The idea is to build the second unit in this space, leaving some space for you know someone to pull their car in, and then there'd be a patio that would be looking out into that, um, all the trees. I probably cut down this bamboo here because it's totally private. Um, right now there's this metal container there. Can't decide if I would want to keep the pieces. The floor is rotted out, but um, you never know when you might need pieces of the metal container. It's gonna be a loft style. So there'll be a sleeping loft, and the unit will probably be about 500 square feet. It's definitely funky, right? Kind of looks like Robinson Caruso's treehouse. And now it's Patty's treehouse. I think this was just made for catching some of the water in the rainy season. So maybe it just eases the soil saturation. Under the house is a bit raised actually um, and so it's nice because then the floor doesn't actually have contact with the ground. If there's a phase 10 it would be to build a little tiny house right here with this view because I love this view of the mountain area and then you also get a little peak of the mountain over there but that's phase 10 <laughs> This side of the patio will be probably a table and, you know, sitting area. Um, that side over there, I'm going to have the couch and the fireplace because at night, I think that'll be a nice cozy area to hang out. Put in some ceiling fans and some patio string lights. So instead of using the garage for my car, I was kind of thinking that basically like right where these two tree stumps are, I could just have, you know, next to the bamboo, I don't want to get rid of the bamboo. 
So I could have um, a thatch covered area for my car and that just has a little covered walkway to get to the porch and to get into the house. I do want to see if I can get double doors installed for the front door, um, but I don't know where the steel support beams are, so we'll have to figure that out. The idea so far on the right side of the patio would be to have a um, possibly a double-sided fireplace here. Eventually I want to get a swim spa and I was thinking that it could be like visible from the spa but it can't be because the spa is you know several feet above ground but that's like phase five. I don't honestly know if I'll even get to phase five. View from the front door to the right is the living area. And to the left is the kitchen area. This is from the far corner of the living area. That's the front door. porch side of the house. This is the kitchen area and I have plans, ideas in mind to extend a counter over here and put the stovetop there and then have all that be like work surface and right here in the middle to do an island and that'll give me more storage. And then over here, I actually have plenty of room to put like a little pantry. And I'm going to paint the tile. Actually, not paint it. I'll probably just have concrete put over it. And then I'm going to do a um, epoxy resin copper countertop for the countertops. And then the island is going to be a live edge piece of wood. So this is the view when you get up off the lift. If to the right was my bedroom and it would be closed off by some uh, two sliding barn doors, I was kind of thinking in the middle could be the bathroom um, because again you'd have like a really nice view of the mountains. And then I was imagining that this could just be open space, um, just, you know, a little like lounging area. And I saw something on Pinterest of making rolling dividers that I could display my mom's uh, paintings on. I have like 50 canvases, uh, not that I, you know, maybe hang all of them, but if I have these dividers on wheels, then I could actually split this space up when people come visit um, so that people could have privacy and probably have some like convertible furniture that flips out, you know, into a bed. Um, because this bathroom is not going to, not going to cut it. So when that part of the roof line is raised, 
this is basically going to open up this amazing view of the mountain and the trees. And this is all just undeveloped land next to the house. So I could definitely see some cool birds, maybe even some monkeys. Cool. I don't think I'd want to use it every day.